Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet this 3D wavy shell stitch pattern. It's based upon the wavy shell edging with a few rows of double crochet in between. For my sample, I'm using medium weight yarn and an H hook. To begin, chain 26 or any multiple of four plus two. In the fourth chain from the hook, make a double crochet stitch. Those skipped three chains will count as a double crochet. Continue making a double crochet stitch in each chain across. Even though I'm using medium weight yarn, feel free to substitute with any other weight yarn for this pattern and its corresponding or suggested hook size, usually found on the yarn's label. If all went well, you should have a total of 24 double crochet stitches across this row. For row two, we're just going to start with the chain three and turn our work. This is just another double crochet stitch row. So you'll place one double crochet stitch in each stitch across this row. Remember that initial chain three does count as one double crochet stitch. So at the end of this row, you will have a total of 24 stitches on this row, just like we have on row one. Row three is the most important row and we'll start that with the chain one. And in the same space, we're going to make our first half double crochet stitch. Then over the next five stitches, we'll make one half double crochet stitch in each. At the end, we'll have made a total of six half double crochet stitches for this first part of the pattern. Technically, it's actually four half double crochet stitches for the pattern, with just two starting half double crochet stitches along the edge, as you will eventually see. Next, we're going to make a chain four and then turn our work as if it was the end of the row. We're going to count backwards four stitches, including that last one that we just worked on. Next, place a slip stitch in that fourth stitch from the hook. You should have those two starting edge half double crochet stitches left unworked. Then we're going to chain two and turn our work back to the front side. In that chain four space we just made, we're going to place eight double crochet stitches all in that chain four space. Now we move over to the next gray stitch that doesn't have any green yarn in it and make a half double crochet stitch. You can see what my first half double crochet stitch looks like. Now we're going to continue on and make three more half double crochet stitches across for a total of four half double crochet stitches just like we mentioned before with the first 3D shell stitch. And then we go back to the chain four and turn our work to the back as if it was the end of a row. Here's the only change from the first one. Instead of counting back four stitches, we're going to place our hook through the two spaces and then make a slip stitch. Then we make our chain two and turn our work back to the front side again. This helps make the shells look like they are forming waves in your work. Then we go back to the eight double crochet stitches all made in that chain four space again. You can see what they look like thus far. And then we go over to the next unworked gray stitch and make our first of four half double crochet stitches in it. You can see the first two 3D wavy stitches for this row. So in summary, we make a total of four half double crochet stitches next followed by a chain four that we then turn over our work and insert it in through the spaces of the previous shell stitch and then make a slip stitch. Next, we chain two and turn our work back around to the front side again. And in the chain four space, we make our eight double crochet stitches in the space again. And we follow that with the four half double crochet stitches made in the unworked gray stitches. Continue this across the row. If all went well, your work should look something like this, where you have a series of 3D wavy shell stitches that connect to each other. At the end, you'll have just two stitches remaining after you make your eight double crochet stitches. In the last two stitches, we're going to make one half double crochet stitch in the first stitch and one half double crochet stitch in the top of the turning chain three stitch from the previous row. For row four, we're going to chain three and turn our work. Ultimately, we're just going to put double crochet stitches on this row. The chain three counts as one double crochet stitch, and we have another stitch next to it, we're going to put the second double crochet stitch. If you recall from the previous double crochet stitch rows, we have a total of 24 stitches on each of them. So where we place the remaining stitches is in between four stitches of each of those shells. 
You'll want to push the shells back a bit so you can see the previous four half double crochet stitches. You'll place one double crochet stitch in each of those four half double crochet stitches underneath the previous row's 3D shell stitches. That last one is a little tough, but as long as you are consistent in how you make these, it will look just fine. You can see what the stitches look like thus far. And on the other side, you can see how it covers up the space below the shell nicely too. This provides us with the foundation so we can place more rows above these shells. And I'll do this again. Underneath the next shell, I'm placing one double crochet stitch in each of the four half double crochet stitches from the row below. And with half double crochet stitches, they are tricky because they have that extra loop in the back. So you have to ensure you are going into the top two loops as opposed to working in that third loop of the half double crochet stitches. You'll continue doing this process across the row. At the end, you'll have those last two stitches, in which case you will place one double crochet in each of them to finish this row. You can see what row four looks like once completed. For rows five and six, it's fairly easy. You'll make a chain three to start and then turn your work. You'll make just one double crochet stitch across. In my case for row five, I'll be putting the double crochet stitches above the gray double crochet stitches from row four. And then you'll make another row of double crochet stitches for row six. Going forward, we're just going to repeat rows three, four, five, and six. So row three is that wavy shell row, which I did in pink yarn. After that, I'll repeat rows four, five, and six with the gray yarn. As always, you can do this in one color instead of changing colors as well. And that's it. That's how I crochet the 3D wavy shell stitch pattern.